Morning Sagas. I'm Patrick Kramian, and today is Tuesday, February 26. And I'm Derek Diaz, and this is SNN. Remember, juniors, there are only 26 days left until CASP testing. For today's fact of the day, we thought we'd let you know why a select roast of beef is called a sirloin. Legend has it that in 1617, during dinner and after a few goblets of wine, King James I of, the I of England suddenly stood and drew his sword. He laid it across the entree and declared, gentlemen, as fond as I am of all of you, I have a still greater favorite, the loin of a good beef. Therefore, good beef roast, I knight thee, sirloin. From there on, beef was known as the knight sirloin. Please stand for the flag salute. Please stand, put your right hand over your heart, Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be. The Saugus Little Free Library is in need of books. If you have books you would like to donate, you can bring them to Mrs. Bond in room Q1709. Military Outreach Night will be taking place on Monday, March 11th at 7 p.m. in the library. The presenters will be representatives from various branches of the armed services and will be talking about college and career opportunities in the military, as well as recruitment options. If you are interested in attending, you can email Mrs. Kunda at the email listed below. The Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery Test, ASVAB, will be held on March 14th at 12.30 p.m. in S Lecture. If you are considering joining the military, this test is for you. Your scores will, be, you will determine how qualified you are for certain military op occupational specialties and enlistment bonuses. Sign-ups are in the counseling office. If you are between the ages of 16 and 19 and want a job, the Youth Employment Services Program will be having its spring session from February 27th to May 24th. Applications are available online at the website listed below. Now let's go to Haley Rudder with your sports news. Saugus and Haley Rudder with your sports news. Congratulations to track and field who competed at Tribuco Hills on Saturday. Sophomore Zach Turner broke the 400 meter school record at a time of 49.5 seconds. Zach as well as Isaiah Turner, Gaetano Ferreira, Christian Rascone, and Kylie Davis were recognized in Cal Prep track for placing top in their event. They compete again this Friday and Saturday at Moore Park. Swim and Dive competes today against Notre Dame at Santa Cruz Aquatic Center at 3.15. Boys golf plays tomorrow against John Burroughs at the Sand Canyon Country Club. JV and Varsity both play at 1. Baseball also plays tomorrow against Valencia at Saugus. All games are at 3. Varsity Boys Tennis also plays tomorrow against Lancaster at AV College at 3. Boys Volleyball plays against Alamany at Saugus on Thursday. Frosch plays at 3.15, JV plays at 4.15, and Varsity plays at 5.30. Varsity Boys Lacrosse plays <coughs> Thursday against Valley Military Academy at 3.30. Good luck to all Centurion athletes. That's all for me. Now let's take a look at Auto Shop, another CTE course at Saugus. Good morning, Saugus. This is Nicole Holguin reporting for SNN. Here at Saugus, CTE or Career Technical Education courses are offered to help prepare students for their future jobs and careers. Auto Shop is just one example of these courses. With a curriculum made up of classroom and hands-on learning, the Auto Shop provides a strong foundation for anyone wanting to pursue a career in auto mechanics or just wanting to be more independent and self-reliant when it comes to their cars. Saugus' own auto class is run by Mr. Mirage, who owned his own auto repair shop for years and can provide invaluable knowledge. Even for those not planning to pursue a career in the auto field, learning about the basic workings of a car can allow any young adult to be much more independent. 
Taking these CTE courses for the duration of high school can narrow educational focus and career pursuits or just provide an opportunity to learn in a different kind of classroom. This has been Nicole Holguin reporting for SNN. If you are interested in taking Auto Shop, you can see your counselor or Mrs. Dahlquist in the counseling office. And now for your scholarship news. The Santa Clarita Arts Association application is now available at the website listed below. Students must be graduating seniors with plans for continuing their, ed their education in the arts. For more information, you can pick up a flyer in the counseling office. The APWA Engineering Scholarship is for students pursuing a career in civil engineering or public works related field within the SCV, Antelope Valley, and Victor Valley areas. For more information and an application form, you can visit the website listed below or go to the counseling office. The application deadline is March 15th. The California Credit Union Scholarship applications are now available at the website listed below. The application deadline is March 21st. The Backer SCV Education Foundation Scholarship will be awarded to students whose personal goals, career college majors, and declared career path indicate future success in a field related to primary or secondary education. For more information, you can talk to your counselor or visit the website listed below. The application deadline is this Thursday, February 28th at 5 p.m. The Cathay Bank Scholarship applications can be picked up in the counseling office. The Jacob Zamora Memorial Foundation Scholarship is for graduating seniors with a GPA of 2.5 to 3.5. Applications are to be mailed and postmarked by March 11th. You may pick up an application in the counseling office. The Phil Am Association of SCV Jose Rizal Scholastic Achievement Award applications are available at the website listed below. The deadline for submission is Friday, April 5th. You can pick up a flyer in the counseling office for qualifications. The 1,000th Man Scholarship is available for seniors who have attended Saugus for at least two years and have a GPA of 2.0 or higher. You can pick up an application in the counseling office and it must be turned in by March 22nd in room B207. The SCV ACSA scholarship is for seniors that have attended Santa Clarita schools for at least seven years, including at least one year at a public elementary school in the Santa Clarita Valley. You must have already applied for admittance into a trade school, community college, or four-year university and have an, a current unweighted, unweighted GPA of at least 2.5. You can apply at the website listed below by April 12th, and you can uh, pick up a flyer in the counseling office. That's all for today. I'm Patrick Cramion. Stay tuned for SNN Radio and Saugus Today. And I'm Derek Diaz. Tomorrow is not a student help Wednesday, so enjoy sleeping in. Have a great day, and we will see you on Thursday.